Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crypto Clutch here. We're trying to talk over this loud noise. I mean, it's not terribly loud in here right now. Just want to quickly update, you know, what I've been up to the last few days, and you know why I haven't been making a video, uh, and then also, you know, what all the stuff is that you're looking at in front of you. Um, so Friday, no Thursday, I found a deal on a bunch of this stuff and a bunch of previews. Um, I'll tell you, you know, more details in a second. But uh, so I got 21 of these GPU frames right now. They're just kind of sitting here. I don't know how to lock down any kind of way. Um, July is only this one card, and I don't really care too much about it. Um, I gotta figure out some kind of way to uh, secure them better. That way, you know, they don't fall over. I mean, obviously, they're made to stack. I just have to figure out how to do it. Um, how to find them. That's beside the point. Um, so I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, he was selling all the stuff left from a 1.2 megawatt farm and I got I mean he claims it was 70 PDUs, 60 breakers, uh, 60 uh, industrial lot receptacles and all that stuff is somewhere in the box. It's kind of a mess right now. But anyways it's it's here somewhere. Uh, so I got all this stuff for like $2,500, including the frames. And he also threw in um, some risers, which is all this stuff. Uh, and then he also gave a bunch of these cords, um, which a lot of them were kind of useless to me. There's a lot of them, I can find one. They're like, you know, standard cords, which I don't understand why he did that, because I mean, they're, I mean, if you're having a PDU, why do you need that? I don't understand. But because if you need the PDU, you need this end, where it goes into that. But um, I, I'm sure I can figure it out. Maybe that's what he was using to bring power to the PDU. I really don't know. Uh, like three of those going in and then you know, the rest going out. I don't know. Um, but I have a bunch of these now. I'm probably going to sell some of them to make back the money. For this, I don't need nearly, like, I don't really need anything. This is just for my next project or to make some money. Um, I don't really know what my plan is for this, but I definitely did need these. Um, these would be nice because I'll be able to, I mean, I was originally going to do this, you know, stick them, like, screw around the risers into the wood, which, I mean, it does work. It's just, I don't know, it's a lot more work. Especially when I got these for basically free. Uh, I mean, they sure it wasn't Do you consider the PDU costs? I mean, those are some pretty nice PDUs. All of them are 30 amp, you know, 240 volt. Uh, all of them have this end on it, which is nice because I mean, that, that's worth more. Some of them are metered. Uh, I don't know how many are metered, but you know, the more metered ones, the more money I can get out of them. Uh, but yeah. I don't think there's you know, anything else that came with the deal, really. It was mainly just, you know, some risers, these right here, which I got 21 of, and there's some more parts to build one up there, and then those cords. But going back to, you know, why I haven't been making videos, well, one, Saturday was completely taken up by driving four hours to go pick up, well, four hours each way to pick up this stuff. Um, and then, you know, so yesterday, a day off while I was driving. I just didn't really feel like doing anything. Um, but I need some suggestions for my next videos. I, I really don't know what you guys want to see. Uh, I mean, I can still make, you know, tuning videos. I can make, uh, I mean, all sorts of different videos. I just mainly want to, you know, get something that you guys are interested in seeing. Uh, I mean, I can still do, you know, how to wire up um, PDU. There's still a couple more back here that need to be done. Um, I can do a video on cable management. Um, I'm not the best at that, as you can tell by my attempt at doing this. Uh, it's not terrible, but uh, it can be a lot better. Um, I will have a the thumbnail will be a picture of this in dark mode. Which I guess I could show you 
guys. It's gonna probably look a little weird, but it definitely looks really cool in here with the lights on. Other than I don't know why that. Uh, I, I got a couple that are overheating. I guess that's what that blinking red light means. But uh, it's pretty cool in here with the lights off. At least I think so. It'll be even cooler once I have some more ASICs running. Um, right now you can kind of see my loads pretty good. Which isn't a permanent, it's just for now. Um, because I don't have a lot of my miners still. I have to pick them up either next, this coming weekend or next weekend. Uh, this is the big panel right here. About 70 amps per phase. Um, I have, I mean, if I turn everything, I have about four ASICs off. I turn them all on. It goes around to 90, but uh, there's really no need. So I did have one more issue last week that I it took a couple days to resolve. It was this network switch. Uh, so, you know, you can see. But this network switch, I think it was overloaded um, with the amount of miners I had on it because it kept, like, going down and my whole farm would go offline. So what I did is I brought, um, I put this thing back in, it's a TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi to Ethernet, and it's coming into one of the, it's like the redundant lines, and then I also have, you know, that line that I dug underneath the house going to that, and then I brought a couple of them that were on this switch, up one to that switch. And I have the second line that we brought from the house here going into that. So I kind of split the load a little bit, and this one's split between those two. Um, I mean, it seems to be working well. It's been more than a couple days without any issues. Um, oh, this is the other thing. This is the stuff that, you know, also came with that deal. This is a bunch of breakers. So these, these whole boxes is just full of breakers. Um, and then there's stuff to close, I guess, you know, maybe down. And there's just so much stuff in here now. Like, I don't even know where everything is in here. Um, the filters, I mean, they still look pretty clean. Uh, I mean, they, there's some stuff, you know, on them, but I mean, I can't really see much dirt. Uh, we did get the lattice, but it's too dark to show you. Uh, but, I mean, that's pretty much everything. I have one of my servers down here now. Start working on the network security. That way, um, you know, when I start hosting for people, I'll have my uh, separate internet. You know, that way, everyone can't be on the same network. Um, so that would be nice. Uh, Red Panda Mighty is going to be helping me with that. Uh, Nerdgears.com is going to be doing a, you know, a sale soon for Halloween. So definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely check your like Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that too, because I mean, you could find some super good deals. I mean, like, if you bought all this stuff new on Amazon, you're looking at like at least 10 grand for these. I mean, these things go for $125 each. I have to inventory everything I have. I mean, I have some trip lights, the basic PDUs, I have some cyber powers. I said I have some of these that have the uh, meters on them. I mean, there's a couple different kinds in there. And those cords, a lot of those are worth like a dollar or two a piece. Uh, but I mean, I don't really plan on selling those. I'm sure I'll need them later on. Uh, but definitely, like, make sure you're like watching that crypto mining stuff if you want to expand your stuff. Because people will sell you know, stuff for a pretty cheap price. And uh, I don't know, it's just a crazy world out there. Um, so I mean, obviously, you see this tub. But that tub is also full just like this one. So it's not like it's just one tub of mine. It's, it's a lot. Uh, and then we're gonna put this on the outside, you know, like around the side of the shed to help the critters get in on these big strip light ones, which I don't know if I'll be able to see it. But it has the meter, the ethernet ports and everything. It's, uh, those are two really nice switches that came with it too. But uh, that's the second point. I think that's all for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's kind of short. I have to go somewhere now. 
But like I said, leave a well, first off, subscribe if you like the content. Leave a like. Um, and then tell me what I should do next. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I thought you could see it, but it's currently 87 back there on the hot side. And it is 77 on the cool side, which that's not true because there's not 77 outside. But it's just, I have to block off the hot side from the cool side, but I haven't got to that yet. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Talk to you guys later.